Hey guys, it's Kevin from Dryport Marine. Today we're going to bring you this brand new Cobalt. This is the 2023 Cobalt R8. So uh, just came in the other day, so we're going to kind of do a walk around, kind of show you show you the boat and go through it a little bit. So uh, just real quick, some quick specs on this one. The R8 does have an overall length of 27 feet 10 inches. The 8 foot 6 inch beam has an 80 gallon fuel tank, um, has a 6400 pound dry weight. And this boat is yacht certified, so it does not have a person capacity. So it is up to the captain. So uh, what you're looking at, obviously white on the outside. That is also the Bayside blue that they used for the boot stripe on this one. So we'll kind of walk up, get a little bit closer look at that blue so you can kind of get a feel for it. So it's a real pretty blue, kind of a light blue that they have there. So really good color combo. Um, this is not the trailer that typically goes with this boat. This is a trailer for an R30. So please disregard that. But if you did need a trailer, we would custom order one for you for the R8. It would usually be a tandem axle trailer. So um, also looking at this boat on the outside, we did upgrade to the white manual folding arch with the fold out Benemy. Um, so you do have the arch. You can pull from that tube skiers and it's got the Benemy top built in as well, too. So got to do a quick walk around on the front here. We did opt for the docking lights on the front of the boat, so that looks real well. You can see the scuff plate that Cobalt gives you a standard drain for the anchor locker. So just a pretty boat all the way around here. They do give you, um, you can see these holes right here. There's, there's stainless cl uh, clips that will clip in for the bumpers. You'll get four of those standard on all our series boats. They do get those. You got the sea deck padding on the swim deck. We did upgrade to premium sound on this boat with transom speakers. So you're gonna see that. If you're not familiar with the R series, this logo will light up at night. That's standard. It does also have the flip down swim step. Hard to do with one hand right here because I'm holding the phone, but this will flip down and over. So you'll just swim up to it. It will be underwater. Use that as your step up into the boat. So. Volvo Penta, dual prop out drive on this one, counter rotating. It's got the trim tabs on there as well too, so really nice. You kind of see a good view of that walkthrough. Cobalts have a really easy walkthrough into their boat. You're not climbing all the way up on the seats and all the way back down, so um, it's just really comfortable to get in and out of a Cobalt, so. All right, a little more of an overview shot, so let's go ahead and hop in this thing and take a closer look. All right, guys, here we are inside the 2023 Cobalt R8. Uh, just real quick before we jump in, uh, what we're looking at here, this is the Summit Frost interior, so the white and gray. And then we did upgrade the flooring in this boat to the silver ash seagrass. So the gray seagrass is what you're seeing there. So nice, easy walkthrough on this one. Also on the back of the boat, as you can tell, we did do the upgraded sea deck on the swim platform. So instead of just the raw fiberglass non-skid, a little bit stickier sea deck there, which is great. So nobody's slipping. Reversible seats on the back. So you got the lounge. I apologize, my shadow's in the way. Kind of see that. You also have the rumble seat built in on this boat. So if you want to use the rumble seat, you can do that. And then there will be the standard drop-in ski pylon that will go down in that hole. We upgraded this boat to the onboard battery charger. This is the plug for that. So just plug it into your extension cord. That's gonna keep the batteries maintained for you as well too. So really nice feature there. So gonna drop all this deck down real fast. All right, so walking into the boat, nice easy walk through, plenty of cup holders. You can see we got six on this side, power outlet right there as well. You got two in the back. This does have the premium sound system. So you get the transom radio remote and again, more power back there as well too. We did upgrade to the flag. That's the flagpole socket. So that's where you would stick the flagpole. This side, you'll have the onboard trash can, onboard drop-in cooler. If you don't wanna use the drop-in cooler, there's a drain down there. You can use this tub as a built-in cooler as well. So you can do both. Nice storage on this one. There's another trash can ski pylon there's the electrical system with the on off battery switch and manual fire extinguisher observer seat again can flip flop back and forth nice big storage deep storage down here look how deep that is so if you got those real big bumpers that's a great place to store those on this boat passenger also gets a flip up bolster seat as well too so you can do that standard on the r8 is the onboard head with the drop-in porta potty uh, there's a light switch right over there as well so you can light that up at night 
lockable glove box, more power ports, USBs, two different size cup holders. You get the Yeti one and then you get the regular one. So if you get, if you're somebody that's got one of those really big, large Yeti cups, bonus, you got a place to put it. So anchor locker up front, it's a nice big anchor. You'll have storage underneath this cushion. This one's hinged, all fiberglass lined. Drop down armrest, which work out really well. Gull wing seat back, deep storage down in there. You can see how deep that goes back, all the amplifiers and electrical for the radio system. And again, fiberglass lined with spaghetti mat down there. Bifold door, standard, close it when it's cold, close the windshield, block the wind. You'll have in-floor storage on this one. Right here in the middle. It does come with the drain, so you can hose all this out. Just drains right down. Rubber gasket on the bottom. And then your ski locker here. Well, same thing. What's cool about this, which is super deep, by the way. <laughs> you can see how big that is. There's the poles for the flag and the uh, pinnomy top when it's open but these all connect as well. So you actually have two and it goes all the way, all the way through. So huge locker there, tons of storage in this boat, which is really cool. Don't have it fired up, but we did upgrade the screens. These are the 10 inch Garmin's versus the set standard seven inch uh, mapping, gauge information, lighting controls, everything's in there. Upgraded to the wireless cell phone charger, upgraded to the trim tabs. Um, Standard on the R6 is the digital throttle shift. It will have trim assist from Volvo Cruise on there as well. Nice cobalt steering wheel, fusion stereo system, AM, FM, Bluetooth colored. Two sizes, a cup holder for the driver as well. Angled footrest. So the ergonomics of this one are really nice. Bolster seat, you can stand and drive, you can sit and drive, and you can flip that seat up and down. So it works out really well. So just a beautiful boat all the way around. Engine wise, <clears throat> pop this one open. This one's got the Volvo 380, so plenty of power in this one. You can see the room in the engine bay, which is quite amazing. And then even more storage over here. You can use this as a cooler, or you can use it for ski ropes or whatever. It's got a drain in there, so really cool. And all those compartments in the floor lock as well. There's that onboard battery charger down there, that yellow box. So, Awesome, guys. Nice boat. If you got any questions, let us know. We'd love to help you out on this one. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.